Hello friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are about to discuss one of the uh, important concepts from the chapter of work by energy and collisions and this is a problem based on ballistic pendulum friends. This particular problem has got two concepts involved. One happens to be the conservation of momentum and the other one happens to be conservation of energy. So friends, these are the two concepts on which uh, this particular problem will be based on. Conservation of momentum during collision. Now what is going to be, what's, what's generally these questions says? It says that there is a bullet, you can see over here there is a bullet and this bullet of mass M might be traveling with some initial velocity U goes and strike a suspended mass of wooden block capital M by a thread of length L. So what happens this bullet traveling with some initial velocity u goes strike this particular mass suspended mass wooden block and gets embedded into it thereby making one common mass capital M plus small m. Now you friends are aware of the fact that whenever two bodies after striking becomes one body it is basically an, an inelastic collision. So here what has happened an inelastic collision has been suffered between a bullet and the block system. Now after this this bullet in the block system makes one one mass one system and this m plus m system now starts moving or this mass and the uh, sorry bullet and the block system swings like a pendulum and reaches to a certain height height h reach to certain height h from its lowest level so this is a height h to which this bullet uh, sorry this bullet block system has risen now there are two things that might be asked you can be asked to find out the initial velocity if the height is given if the initial velocity is given you might be asked even to calculate the height h to which the body uh, this block has risen or even we can be asked to find out this angle through which this pendulum has really swing so such type of problems are the basics of class 11th numerical solving approach now how to proceed to such problem let's try to understand and build upon to that concept friends now as i told you it is based on two concepts conservation of momentum during collision that has taken place and conservation of momentum sorry conservation of energy after the collision so what does the conservation of momentum during collision says what type of collision are we observing collision happens to be collision is as I told you friends is inelastic collision so this is basically an inelastic collision so uh, conservation of momentum remember whether it's an elastic collision or whether it's inelastic collision the momentum is one quantity which is always going to remain conserved in both type of collisions momentum before collision must be equal to momentum after collision friends so what was happening before collision there was two separate systems one was the bullet so bullet was having the mass small m and was moving with initial velocity u this is before collision bullet system bullet part and what was happening with the block block was suspended and was at rest so mass into zero the velocity of the uh, block initially was at rest so they've made one particular system before collision mu and remember momentum is a vector quantity so what i'm doing i'm just just in order to make you much more familiar with the vector since i'm putting a initial velocity with some some type of arrow on the on the top this arrow so as to tell you that is a vector quantity so momentum before collision must be equal to momentum after collision so what will be the momentum after collision after collision they became one single entity of mass capital m plus a small m what is capital m the mass of the block what is small m the mass of the bullet and they combine together and they start moving with a common velocity let me call that common velocity as vc and using this particular equation i will get vc that is the common velocity with which the bullet in the block system is about to move as m 
upon m plus small m into u. So this equation is going to be my first equation in solving such type of numerical problems friends. So let me call this as my first equation. Is that okay friends? So from this I can find out or from this particular equation I can relate the common velocity with which the bullet block system will be moving and the initial velocity with which the bullet was moving before colliding with the block. Now, the second part of the concept comes as conservation of energy after collision. Now, after collision, uh, the bullet and the block system will have a common kinetic energy. And this kinetic energy will slowly and slowly get converted into the potential energy as the bullet block system is going to rise, isn't it? So what is happening in concept number two, or that is the conservation of energy after collision, loss of kinetic energy is taking place and this loss of kinetic energy is getting converted in gain on potential energy friends so what is going to happen whatsoever the kinetic energy the bullet block system is going to contain how much is the kinetic energy of the bullet block system is half m plus capital m into vc square this is the kinetic energy that the bullet block system gains after collision. So this is the energy that they are about to lose. So half m plus m into Vc square and where they are utilizing this energy? It is getting converted into the into the gravitational potential energy. The bullet block system is slowly and slowly rising from this lowest point and it moves and gains some height. So gravitational potential energy happens to be m plus small m into g times h so this m plus m and this m plus m cancels out so i get vc square happens to 2 g h so this particular equation let me call this as a second equation is going to help me to obtain the height gained by the bullet block system now h you can calculate from this particular equation sometimes what the teacher might ask you in a numerical problem is that he also calculate the angle can you see this angle angle that the bullet block system makes with the vertical uh, with the vertical or with the initial position friend so what you all need to do uh, if you haven't watched my one particular video where i have related uh, with case of pendulum how does the height and the vertical angle made by the vertical is related please see to it it's going to be uh, please click on that plus icon shown at the uh, right top hand corner of this video you can there you can find out this particular link to this particular uh, video you can go and see how this height is related presently i'm just using the formula which is shown over there and that was h is equals to l into 1 minus cos theta now in order to see from where i've got this formula please kindly click on the uh, top right hand corner the link is shown over there so i can use this particular equation over here so vc square is equals to 2g and instead of h h is related as l into 1 minus cos theta so what you can do you can use this particular formula also uh, in order to get the angle theta so either you can use this particular formula or what you can do you can find out the height from this particular equation substitute it over here and get the angle theta friends i believe this particular uh, explanation will help you an insight or will give you an insight to solve the numericals based on ballistic pendulum